Hey guys, this week's video, we are back in live actionized and this episode will be about Samurai Jack. Now, I didn't see him when I was a kid, but I did see him when I was a teen. This week's video will be a little shorter one and here is the reference picture that I was going for and this is what we create today. Anyway, I'm Double Luck Angel, welcome to my channel and my shirt says have a nice day and that's also what I am wishing for you guys, but let's hop right into the video. Are y'all ready for this? Right, so the first thing I started to do was the background and I used this gradient layer, several of them and took the palette from the original picture and tried to match that as good as possible and after this I started to build this hellish type of gate that I had pre-made before this video. I decided that I'm gonna use some radio masts in the background as the demon thingies that they have in the original cartoon picture and uh, I wanted this to look like the not to spoil anything but spoiler alert spoiler alert the underworld where samurai jack meets aku the antagonist in the series he's a demon lord or demon prince he's kind of a clown actually in the cartoon but i found this super awesome asset of a Japanese old warlord demon in art station. So I decided to use that and then add a green mask on him instead of having his lips being green as in the cartoon. I also started to make Jack from this samurai dude who actually is Caucasian but I just changed the hues and so on to make him Japanese because I think if I'm not mistaking I got you homie that uh, samurai Jack is Japanese from old Japan a samurai that was sent into the future by Aku to well basically when he was about to get defeated that he sent his enemy into the future and thought that this would help but actually well it turned out it won't anyway i decided that i had this kind of fire portal that i wanted here because i needed a light source and uh, diffused light source in the background just weren't doing it for me. And I like when I make my highlights to paint them in in this. It's called cell shading. And I learned this technique when I started making marker art. And I just see that when you are using photography skills and marker skills in photo manipulation, it gives this extra kind of, I don't know, effect maybe? So it's not just these soft brush strokes that you see in many people's arts, but it, I actually use hard brushes when I do these highlights and then just mask away what I don't like in them. Now I'm not totally sure about if this angle is correct or not, but I, I went for this type of fisheye angle because I wanted Aku to be huge and intimidating and scary and is like for real a demon lord and not the clown that he is in the series. And he is bigger than Jack, but I also still wanted to keep Jack in the foreground and as the main focus point and decided to actually after this edit add also key light because well, basically this is a pretty dark edit and the light source is from behind so it makes it a hair light or edge light rim light again you can call it what you want but i wanted the main protagonist in 
focus and so I just came up with a light source from the front. You often do this also when you make ad designs. The, the light source doesn't really make any sense, but it's just because you want the face and the feature to be visible. Anyway, I decided that the whole scene will be lit up by this portal, except for, of course, Aku in the background and his minions. I didn't make any mini demons in this one, only the tower thingies. So yeah, I, I won't go through to start spoiling the actual series because it's really nice series and you should actually watch it if you haven't. I don't know where you can do it now these days, but... We are starting to get to the end of this video and I catch you in the outro, thank you again. You will pay for my pain in the past with your pain in the future. Okay, so that was this week's video and here is the end result and like I said in the video, I wanted Aku not to be so clown as he actually is in the cartoon, so I made him pretty scary. Anyway, we will be back with live action eyes, but next that I didn't have on the agenda for this year actually, it came up and so we are going to a new series of mine, Legendary Fi, where I make one of your photos into something not one of your arts like realistified from Benny Productions but only a photo of you and I am making it legendary and next video will be full of heavy metal actually trash metal it's one of my bros but also client I got the honor to make an artwork for the guitarist for Hand of Fire and their new song Reap What You Sow and the artwork will be based on that so stay tuned for that anyway I'm Double Locked Angel thank you again for watching this video till the end I greatly thank you because the reach like I said before, is so poor. I can't promise weekly videos from now on because my motivation will go up when my views and reach go up. Anyway, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe right over here. And if you haven't seen any of my live action eyes, videos yet you can check out this video list over here or you can check these videos over here i hope you have a great weekend and i catch you in the next one